Okay, this is kind of a random one. So, um, is is physical beauty completely subjective, or is there some uh, um, is there some some deeper meaning in physical beauty? Like, you know, you you've said that we we choose our our body and our to the extent of our our hair, hair color and and eye color or whatever. Um, yes. Like I. Can you just give a little bit of insight on, on you know, what does it mean, the body that we've chosen and, and how it, you know, appears to others? Well, the experience of being seen as ugly and thus rejected versus the experience of being seen as beautiful and thus desperately wanted to the point where you can't even contain your own energy is a different experience entirely. And as we said before, expansion is the byproduct of experience, of perspectives being different. And so there are, there's contrast that comes along with being perceived as beautiful by many, the same as there is contrast that is the byproduct of being perceived as ugly and unwanted. So we would choose that based on the experience. And there is a un, sort of unanimous traits, even though beauty is subjective, there are still traits which, by virtue of being human, are considered attractive. Yeah. And you know that before coming in. Yeah, so there's some so there, there's awareness of that in the yes. in the upper realms of you know how, oh, yes. how you know how you're going to be received and what sort of experience you're you're going to have as a result. Interesting. Very much so. Yeah, cool. And it's a plan. I mean, that's that's part of. Well, to not sound completely arrogant, it's part of the design of why even I chose this physical body, mm -hmm. is that it, it was understood that if people are perceived of of being attractive, more people pay attention, more people listen. So, mm -hmm. so one spiritual guide might choose to come in as a beggar who's been formed just because they're trying to test people's openness and awareness in terms of receiving information through an embodiment which is not pleasing aesthetically. It's sort of like look beyond the form. Mm -hmm. That's its own lesson. So there would be a spiritual teacher that would choose that. Other spiritual teachers who are, who are setting forth the intention before coming up into this life to be on the world stage might choose to be aesthetically pleasing so that even those who would not necessarily pay attention to spiritual truth will look just because of that. Yeah. So it's just a, a decision before coming in of, you know, what's going to complement your own um, energy and what what sort of experience you're seeking. and Yes, your whatnot. own intentions for life, your own life purpose, and your own expansion.